I'm your host, Megan Karimi Nasser. And I'm the even hostier, D'Artagnan London. And we're here with your first Battle Royale Tier 1 news break. So far, Total Biscuit is tied for daily wins. He's taken two days for a total of $2,000 that will all be going to Charity Water. He's got the support of several past kings, including PewDiePie, Boogie, and Commander Krieger, not to mention some more ladylike support from former queen Husky Starcraft. And what I promised months ago that I would run in the Battle Royale and give all of the money raised to Charity Water, and I intend to do just that. Despite the pre-game smack talk from Mox of What The Fact Show, he has yet to take a daily victory for himself. The closest he's come is a very respectable second place on the first day of the election. But this video shows he still means business, so the other campaigners will have to watch out for him. No, seriously, watch out for him. And to show you that the what the fuck army does not take prisoners, I will shoot one of my own men in the knee! Ha ha ha! Days two and four of the election went to Jesse Cox of OMFG Cata. As a result, he declared his first victory to be forever known as Pan Galactic Space Butterfly Day. To rally his troops, he released an inspiring video impersonating Bill Pullman in his greatest role ever. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vote forward without a fight. We're going to vote on. We're going to win. Today we celebrate Space Butterfly Day. Oh my gosh, While You Were Sleeping was such a good movie! It's so good to see it finally getting the attention it deserves, you know? Finally, Hot Damn I Rock has been holding a strong presence on the leaderboard, but hasn't yet won a day. But you can tell in his eyes he's determined to win. There's just something about them. And you mean to tell me you rather risk that? Trying to save her? Oh wait, I've seen that before. That's LASIK! Yeah, it looks like he's following in the footsteps of some other celebrities. Well, that's all we have time to cram into this travel-sized update, but we'll be back in a few days with more exciting news. Until then, check out this bit of awesome from Matt G 37 as he pursues his new career as a 2016 Olympics coach. It's just a high jump bar. Come on! Georgia, yes! Come on! Come on! Just, it's not even that high. You just need a running start. the Olympics. Me too. Like, I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. I miss the athleticism. It I reminds know. me of my own life. I know. I miss, like, feeling like I was getting stuff done by watching them. No. Oh. Hey, but they didn't do every event. There was the Clementine Peel. Oh, huh? yeah. You ever see that? No. Mm, tell me. Tell okay, me. Okay, okay. One. Can you use your name? Two. You have nails. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Huh. One. Mm. Two, three, four, five. Done. Ah. Look, I ate it. Ten. Woo! Woo. Er, what about the um <coughs> chip stack? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm Are really good. good at I'm so good at it. Okay. Hold on, watch this. Right? One, two. Three, four. Oh, it's a new world record! Oh, I'm real good. Seven and a half. <laughs> what? Well, I've seen better. Hey, perfect form! I know, but there's only two chips. Wow. Well, my books are hard. Oh, I don't understand what you said. Mm. Ooh, enunciation off. Oh my god, yeah. There is a pretty kitty in the windowsill. I want a proper pot of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot. I'm Oswald Copper Pot, the guy who it was actually the penguin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I am a pheasant mother plucker. I am the most pleasant mother pheasant plucker ever to, to pluck, pluck a, a mother, mother pheasant. pheasant. Team America! Yeah! USA! USA!